Diana Denmark here. Ra, ra, ra. We are on to day three of week two of our new year, new you course. And as I announced last week and as we've been doing this week, we're doing a, a quick run through of all five, fly, five uh, fly lady zones this week. Um, fly lady's working on zone three this week. If you want to continue with your normal zone work, that's fine. But as I explained uh, in the last few videos, after things like Christmas or after we've had guests staying, uh, maybe you've had a, a period where you've been ill, sometimes it's really nice just to hit all the zones where we're not, we're not cleaning the, uh, everything, but we're just taking 15 minutes in each zone just to give us that, that push uh, and, and maybe bring back that feeling of being in control again. Often it doesn't take much. And what I usually do, especially you know, if we've been off on holiday, something like that, then I'll spend five to 10 minutes in the kitchen, five to 10 minutes in the living room, uh, five to 10 minutes in the hall, and then after that, I'm feeling really good again. And often it's just a case of if you have not been being consistent with your routines or not being consistent with, you know, after you've used things, uh, say here in the bathroom, uh, you know, just picking things up and putting them away. I mean, really that takes so much work uh, out of things for us, if we will just put things back where they belong. Anyway, I'm going to get started. Usually you will see me with my little cleaning caddy. Uh, I don't normally bother with that here in the bathroom because I keep a couple of supplies underneath um, the, the bathroom sink here in one of the cupboards. I've got toilet roll in there and I've got glass cleaner. Um, the toilet cleaner is beside the toilet, um, so I don't really need anything extra. And the rags that I use, I've, I've shown this before, but I keep um, I, I keep them folded, uh, kind of combined uh, in a little box here in one of the, the bathroom covers. I've got a couple of the rags, you know, for doing windows. And then I've got old rags, uh, which are usually things like, here's a case in point, because the, the kids have been going through their clothes at weekend. Any t-shirts that are not good enough to pass on to a charity shop, you know, that are really stained or messy, I cut those up and fold them there and that's what I use for things like uh, the toilet. So, there we go, just a wee explanation of where we are. Uh, so Monday we were in, we were doing the living room, uh, sorry, the entryway, the hall and the dining room. Yesterday you saw me in the kitchen, so today, bam, 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 we are in zone, uh, fly lady zone three, which is the bathroom plus one other zone. You can do what I'm doing today, you can take uh, any of the fly ladies' uh, missions, you know, normally the missions are a mixture of decluttering or cleaning, or if you did the uh, refresher course with me and, and made up um, house management binder, you can si simply <gasps> flick through <laughs> to uh, zone three and remember, I've told you this before I do everything by zone so I've also got like my, my pan permissions I do that by zone like and we're, we're in bathroom zone so often in, in, when we're in zone three week I'll do things like you know I'll, I'll remember to do extra face mask or things like that uh, and also think about supplies when you're in this area when you're working in zone three what do you need in zone three you need shampoo, toilet roll, um, I don't know, shaving foam, whatever it is. So I, I like to keep things by zone, I shop by zone, and, and that way we're, uh, we're, we're not forgetting about anything. Anyway, and it's hopefully all in your, in your um, control journal, so you can just, you don't need to be remembering these things, you'll, you'll get, the, you know, you've got it written down somewhere and can check it off. Anyway, I'm just going to do the same as I've done the last couple of days, uh, j j just the basics. So starting with my uh, feather duster, I'm just going to take the ceilings, and, and I should just say, to, I, I've got the window open at the moment, it's very, very windy here today in Denmark, I'm going to be closer. Uh, and still dark, hold on, just to show you. Okay, that, that's how dark it is this morning, but that, that's why I love having the candles going. There we are. And that's whoa, full light in the bathroom, but I like to keep things a bit more a bit more gentle. So we'll, we'll take those lights. Right, anyway, on with the show. And remember, don't, don't just sit there. The, the whole point of this is to get off your bahookie and get you working along with me. There we are. Boom, boom. 
I'm just going along the ceilings. Whoop. Oh, there goes a feather. Get that. Hold on. Got a bit. One fall out. Right. Along the tops. Into the corners. And actually, while I've got the windows kind of half open, I shall clean the windows. I'll give my uh, feather duster a shake outside when I'm done. And when it gets really messy, you can uh, give it a wee uh, bath in some tepid water just with some, uh, some light shampoo, then let it air dry or use a wee hair dryer. Right, I'm, I'm going to get up and do the windows. Just hold on. Right, I remember when I say I'm cleaning the windows, in a glass. Those. Uh, I'm, I'm just using some generic window cleaner. I, I, I use something that's environmentally friendly, so I don't need to be uh, worrying about my clothes. If you want to, you know, uh, change your clothes, put on an apron, apron, that is up to you. Uh, and the whole, I'll, I'll turn it slightly because uh, I'm, I'm not going to be standing there with my bahuki right in your face. Okay, off we go. And just a quick squish, squish. My cloth already folded into six. Right, that's one done. And I'll also do the window sill, the window frame at the same time. Uh, our window sills here, these ones are made of glass. So they're super easy to clean. There we are. And I'll just move things uh, to the side as I do it. Is it a plant? Actually, I'll take down the plant because the plant will get a water. Uh, I'll, I'll give it a quick uh, rinse in the bath when we're done. So the plant can go in the bath. Right, that's one done. See how super quick that was? On to the next one. And remember, don't go climbing up on, on ladders and whatever if there's nobody else home. You know, safety, all the safety first. Right, next one. And again, I'm just moving things to the side. These are the bath salts, the fancy bath salts that I got from Vibica for my Christmas. Right, here's a brush that needs to go in the cupboard. Right, squish, squish. Let's turn the cloth over. Let's get a second window. I'll just do along the bottom of the window frame here. And then we squish here. But this one can get a wee bit messy because we tend to put things there when we're uh, brushing our teeth. Uh, but all these, hold on, uh, all these mirrors here that are, um, you can see from the depth that these are actually cupboards. I'm not going to show you what's inside because it's my family's stuff and you know I don't show my family on camera, they, they want to have their privacy, so, so I'm not showing you that, but inside we've got this one, uh, you know, it's the cleaning, uh, spray and toilet roll, you know, and then toothbrushes and toothpaste. Right, anyway, on, on, with, the, on with the show, and I'll just move those out of the way, these are my candles, hookah candles. And again, I'm just wiping off the surface here too, and this is another plant which will get a, a little bath. Right, that's the second window. This one's going to bath. Right, uh, and I'm moving on to the third one. I've got three windows in here. Right, last one. Squish, squish. And I just turn my cloth over and do the window surround. And I'll do the, the part here. Uh, this is me in the shower area, you can see the two glass walls. Right. That's that one. Actually, I just do this at the same time. This is our, like our little shelf where we can put shampoo bottles and it holds
holds the uh, the squeegee or uh, we scrape down the walls when we've uh, used the shower in the morning that keeps it nice and clean Right, and you also may want to look through the kind of obvious things uh, when you're in the zone. Uh, for example, you know, if you have, if you don't have, uh, you know, glass shower walls, maybe you've got a shower curtain, maybe you need to put that one in the wash today, uh, bring out a different one, uh, maybe you want to go through your towel, see if there's anything that has seen better days, you know, can maybe make them into rags. Uh, and you've seen how I do my towels, hold on, i show you here. Uh, I have our towels conmarried in a basket so people can just help themselves, they, they just sit behind the bath. And um, also think about your uh, bathroom bin, uh, every time, um, actually, uh, we, you know, once a week I normally give that a quick uh, rinse out, maybe you want to give it a really good uh, clean today. And your laundry basket, so this is for our ones, it's, we only have one laundry basket and everybody knows that they must have their, put their stuff in here, uh, and along with, you know, hangers, and that goes down to the basement. And people always ask me why, why I have such a small laundry basket. We've tried before having a bigger laundry basket, but if you have a huge laundry basket, you keep on stuffing things in there. I like to keep a small laundry basket because it ensures that we take it down once a day to the basement and actually do a load of laundry. So that's, that, that works for us. Um, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, and, and think about the obvious things in here. If you find that you've got, uh, if you've got extra shampoo bottles, you know, try and use that stuff up. Don't go buying more and more and more. Um, and let me just check my list and I'll see what else I'm going to do next in here today because we're at 12 minutes so we've got a few minutes extra. Oh, I, I know what I'll do. I'll give the uh, sink a really good uh, clean. Uh, you know, if you're if you're actually following the fly lady routines consistently, you will be doing a swish and swipe in this room every day or every other day. Remember, you don't need to do all the bathrooms every day. Uh, I, I normally alternate the one here with the um, bathroom that we have on the ground floor. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to give a, a good scrub of that. So I'll put away my window, do you know, window cleaner and take out, here we are. This is the bathroom one, which is uh, lavender and mint. And I keep uh, some uh, brushes and extra cleaning stuff in, in a little basket beside the shower area here. Also, because then I can, you know, just do a wee bit of the shower area when I'm standing there. I'll take one of these. I'm really enjoying using these uh, scrubby things, uh, especially if you don't even really need any, any product and they're really good on things like build-up of lime scale. Anyway, I'm just going to give a quick go round of the sink. It's a bit like having you know, the shiny sink in your, uh, in your kitchen. And I really like the style of our both our bath and our sink because you've probably noticed it's got spaces where you can actually hang on, uh, you, you know, your towel. So that's a, you know I like things that are nice, streamlined, uh, practical, but also uh, look nice. Right, here we are. toothbrushes because those are really good for cleaning the, the plunger part of the sink. So anyway, do, do, as long as you make sure that you've got your stuff accessible, keep, keep a few things in your bathroom that it's easy, really easy to do your uh, swish and swipe or do a quick, uh, quick clean if you've got guests coming. Right, let me see. I think that looks pretty tipped off. Right, hold on, let me just pop that in the wash. 
Oh, and one other thing. Um, I'm going to change over the rug that we have in here. So I'm going to also put that uh, for the wash. And my plants are going to get a wee wash. Now let me just um, wash my hands and come and say a proper goodbye to you. There we are. Right, anyway, so let me see. We have been going woohoo for the golden 15 minutes. Remember, you don't need to clean everything in here. Just take a few items from the list that you've made or uh, do one or two of the fly lady missions. And uh, as I said, remember, we don't need to be cleaning the whole thing, but if you will, if you will just do the basics, doing your morning routine, your evening routine, making sure that if you take something out of the cupboard to use it, you know, like, I don't know, hair products or uh, your toothbrush, if you would just put it away when you're finished with it, it makes life so much easier. And, and I get a lot of questions about, um, you know, if, uh, how to quickly do your swish and swipe in the bathroom. If you have lots of things um, sitting around the kitchen sink or, or the bathroom sink, it's going to be more difficult for you to clean it. What I suggest you do, as I've suggested to many people, is that you should, uh, try and group things together. So say, say you have to have your, uh, your, your things for doing your teeth out and doing your hair. At least put them together in containers, you know, like um, uh, little boxes uh, or, or some kind of little tubs. That way, also in the eye, it looks less messy. And for practicality reasons, you can just lift it up you know, give it a swipe underneath and, and keep it easier and contained. And also you will you will put it back, you know, in the container, hopefully. That's the idea anyway. So anyway, I'm going to get on with my uh, day. We're just getting bright here now. Let me see. Ooh, yeah, we're getting bright. Uh, and all I've got left to you to say that I shall send you on your merry way with a wee pom-pom salute. And uh, remember, keep checking in with us. Uh, on the Instagram because it's really fun to see what you're doing. Uh, also that you have started adding extra things into your routines uh, about eating better this year, uh, fitness. It's really, really encouraging to see what the others are doing and, and to see that it is possible. If we, we just, you know, take, take baby steps as with everything else. So anyway, on that note, I'm going to wash the plants and say live long and prosper. May the Danish hood be with you. Hope it's not quite so windy for you are today, and I shall see you tomorrow for we shall be in zone Kapla, which is uh, the master bedroom. Okay, blah blah blah. See.